Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a trying new makeup. I'm jumping right in because we have a lot of products that are new that I wanted to test out. Also have to do brows today because they're not filled in. I usually have them done, but we have a new brow product to start off. And this is from Benefit. This is the Fluff Up Brow Wax. And I'm typically not a fan of waxes. I've actually been having some success lately trying out waxes. This has a white color to it. It doesn't show up really like the refi if you've tried that one or any of those type of waxes this compared to the 24 hour brow setter which is my personal favorite just has a more flexible hold so it kind of depends on what you're looking for i still prefer the 24 hour brow setter because i like that strong hold but if you thought that was too strong or laminated looking you might like this better so definitely worth a try i think there's a market for it but I'm still loving the original brow setter as opposed to this wax. Not a bad product, just not my personal favorite. My brow product goes into this nicely when I'm applying it. The only thing I don't like is the hold. So I do prefer something with a stronger hold, but I know a lot of people are gonna love this product. So if you thought that was too strong of a hold and you're looking for something lighter, more fluffy, you probably will really like this. Brows are done, I also lightly set my eyes to move on to eyeshadow and I have a new palette here that I've been so excited to play around with with you guys. It's from Laura Lee Los Angeles and it's the Whimsical Nudes. I've been a huge fan of the formula of previous palettes. So I was really excited to get this in the mail. Here are what the shades look like. Kind of reminds me of a mini version of Manny's palette which you guys know is my top palette of the year. So I was a huge fan of the color story and the mixture of these really incredible formulas in here. So I'm going to do something typical just so that I can see how it performs for my style of makeup. I definitely wanna play with one of the shimmers to amp it up. I'm thinking something romantic for Valentine's Day. It's kind of what I'm feeling today. I've been doing a smoky wing, but higher up now. So it lifts my eye. I typically use my medical grade Sephora tape, but most people have scotch tape on hand. That's all you need if you want to create this look that I'm doing. She also sent over her brushes to me as well, which I'm excited to test out. We have a bunch of beautiful brushes here. So I'm going to play around with as many as I can for this look. Using the L37 brush in the shade Sand Shell, I'm going to put this into my crease. Probably gonna deepen this up slightly. I wanna see. How this looks it actually goes on a lot deeper than I was thinking I think this will be the perfect transition shade the brush is super soft and the shade is really easy to blend so we're gonna start there and then I can always deepen it up a little bit more I'm not sure how soft I want to go for this look I'm going to skip to eyeliner because this is a trick that I learned on TikTok to keep the eyeliner defined but I can smoke it out. So I usually do my liner last, but I've actually been smoking it out with shadow just to give it a base to smoke out. It's been working out really nicely for me. So I just got this from the drugstore. I saw another creator use this and it looked really nice and it actually is a brown shade. It's from L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Grip Precision Felt Liquid Liner in brown. I was looking for a new brown felt tip liner could have been brush tip too because I prefer those but this works. I've just been doing my wing with brown and I love how soft a brown liner is. I ran out of my other felt tip liner I was using. Wanted something more affordable but I use brown more than black so I'm so happy to have a new one and this one's really nice. It wears nicely too. I'm doing the whole lash line keeping it really tight in the inner corner. And then before it fully sets down, I do one eye at a time. I use a smudger brush just like this. This one is the L40. And I go in with a dark brown first. So going in with this shade and then just going over top, start smudging it and smoking it out. And I just smoke out the outer half of the liner. I don't go into the inner corner where we wanted to keep it nice and tight, just smoking out the outer bit. Just for fun, we're gonna blend it even more this shade right here it's called Cedar Rose. Just going ever so lightly on top of that last shade we did, just along the edges to further smoke it out and give it some more dimension. So it's a really nice soft gradient. Softening everything further with our crease brush and then we're gonna do the other eye. Great thing about tape, doesn't matter how messy it gets on the outer corner because we're gonna be peeling it off. This is the fun part. Let me just swatch these shimmer shades for you 
They are so beautiful. I genuinely want to do a look with all these shades. They are so stunning. Usually I would go with the shade Manny, I feel, but I'm gonna go in with the shade Erin. It's more pink. I feel like it'd be really pretty for Valentine's Day. Taking some on my finger. You can see all the other ones. It's intense. And I just wanna lightly put it on the eye. I wish you could feel these because they are the most creamy metallics. They're just beautiful formulation. Once I've packed it on, I'm just gonna go back, make sure everything is seamless and blend it in using that smudger brush and then just lightly going back in with my crease brush. I'm obsessed. It is so pretty. I have a new eyelash curler to try. Velour sent me a cute little package. This is gonna work so good. It says it has an extra wide opening. I hope so. Cause a lot of these pinch my eyes. What a difference a new eyelash curler makes. <laughs> I will be applying some really fluffy falsies. That's the look I've been really loving lately. I think it's super romantic for Valentine's Day. However, I will be coating my lashes with a little bit of mascara and I do have this one from L'Oreal. It is the telescopic lift that is taking over the internet right now. I did a video on this. If you wanna go check out that review, I will link it above so you can see this mascara without falsies. <laughs> but I will be putting some false lashes on in this video, but this is just strictly to coat my lashes. This is probably the best drugstore mascara that I have tried in years. Probably since Lash Paradise. This is my favorite drugstore, I think. Can't remember, it's really good though. For lashes, I believe these launch early February, February 5th, if I'm not mistaken. They are the Velour Effortless Lashes. They are no trim, 100% vegan and cruelty-free lash. They all look effortless, like the name suggests, super fluffy and just beautiful everyday lashes. These are my definition of a perfect lash. They are just so fluffy and subtle, add a little extra drama to the lashes. These ones are a little bit more fluffy than others. I feel like you know what, I should try this out. This has really wispy lashes on it, so I figure, you know what, let's go for the most wispy. This is the Style Soulmate. How perfect for Valentine's Day. They all have really cute names. Here's what Soulmate looks like. Just a really soft lash. Doesn't get much better than that, honestly. That's gonna be perfect. Literally exactly what I wanted. <laughs> These are a very delicate lash, so just be mindful when you're removing them from the packaging. These I feel like could easily rip. The band isn't too flimsy, but still the lashes are so delicate because they're that very fine feathery look. Just a subtle added drama to the eye, just enough. See how all the drama is concentrated on the outer corner? That's what I was really going for, for this look with focus on the eyeliner and then these lashes just kind of add to that effect. I have more to do with the eyes, some fun products that I'm going to add in the waterline and just to finish off the look. However, at this point I like to move on to my skin and I thought I would actually try out underpainting for you guys on camera. This trend has been around for a long time. Scott Barnes, Wayne Goss, now really popular from Mary Phillips is doing underpainting. A lot of makeup artists use this technique, but I don't believe I've ever done this on my channel. I filmed a short little TikTok on it, but I have a product here that I thought would be perfect for doing underpainting with you guys. It's a really subtle way to add dimension and color to the face and you use less foundation, when you do this technique, it's just a really beautiful, natural looking skin look, which I wanted to share on video. First, we're gonna start off moisturizing the face and I'm just going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I almost dropped it. <laughs> That's why my voice shook like that. So I recently picked this up from Sephora. Just wanted to test it out again. I used to use this all the time, but keep hearing about it as of lately. And I do get comments if my skin's being irritated when I'm putting product on. It is not, it's just the sheer fact of touching my face. I could barely touch my face and it would go red, but it goes down just as quickly as it comes, so I'm not too concerned. <laughs> and then you guys have been asking me to review this. Finally came back in stock. I would have had it sooner. I've been waiting. It is the Kelly Ray So Blown Clean Blurring Primer. And I almost dropped this too. <laughs> and I've used this a couple times already. It really does blur out the skin. It is a beautiful primer. This one is oil controlling, which I don't have an issue with, but if you do, you might wanna check out this primer. I do still love my Huda Beauty and I honestly can't decide which one I like more because this feels silky smooth, kind of like the Huda going on my skin. Might be a little bit more blurring though, not as hydrating. So there's kind of a toss up. I like both. I'll probably just repurchase both but I wanna do a side-by-side -side test to 
to see which one I actually like better. But this has been really nice. So thank you guys for telling me to pick this up. I know you said you'd think I'd like it and I definitely do. You know me. It smells like my cupcake doll from childhood. Did you ever have those? Now for underpainting. This is where we do our contour and concealer underneath our foundation. We can do our blush on top. I guess you could technically do that underneath, but I want that to show through. So I've been following some tutorials. It's definitely contour and concealer underneath. And I received this in PR from Makeup Forever. And it is their HD Skin All-in-One Face Palette, which I thought would be perfect to test out today because we have our contours, we have concealers, correctors, we have blushes and a highlight. So what better product to use than this for underpainting? Usually I use a different form of synthetic brush, but I am going to try out the Laura Lee brushes for this. This is the L38. Thought I almost was a six. L38 and for contour, I'm gonna be mixing both the contour shades in the palette. These look very orange on my skin, just so you know. So this is going to really warm up the skin. It's going to add the bronze quality that I like, but on my skin, it looks orange. I'm gonna need something bigger. So I already know how this is going to look. It's gonna be a little bit scary, but because you're putting foundation over top, it honestly works out. So this is one of those moments where it's just gonna be a, please trust the process. <laughs> because it's gonna look not good before it does. And I don't think I could use these contour shades unless I was underpainting with them. I'm not sure why they're so orange for contour. They're very, very warm. At least on my skin, they pull quite, quite warm. And if you're like me and you overdo bronzer, this is kind of the perfect way to warm up the skin. And you don't have to worry about overdoing it because it's gonna be covered up and you can cover up as much as you need to. <laughs> If you put on too much. It's a Cheryl proof makeup technique that looks super natural once it's done. Because this definitely does not look natural. <laughs> Let's hope I don't have to sign for a delivery in the next 10 minutes. You can also contour around the mouth as well. I'm not doing that. I already feel like mine is quite shadowed so I don't really need that. Now we're going to move on to the concealer. So we do have some corrector shades in here. I kind of just stick to these two concealers. But if you have some darkness you need to correct, we have some pink color in here. There's also a yellow for brightening, a nice peach one in here too. So you can kind of mix and match. I'm just gonna mix both the two concealers there. This is super creamy and nice and smooth. I really like the concealer in this palette. Probably my favorite thing in this palette is the concealer. I'm just going to bring it right up to that contour under the eye. And lastly, just underneath the contour or bronze. I call this a bronze, like a bronze tour. This is where I don't know if testing a new foundation is really the best idea. However, we're going for it. It's a try new makeup. And I have this Guerlain Parure, Parure. I don't know how to say this, I'm sorry. Gold Skin Matte Foundation. It says it's new, but I swear I've seen this online before. Got a nice size sample from Sephora. So we're gonna test that out. I have the shade 4N. Look how decent that is. I'm impressed. This is gonna be a little too dark for me, but we're in luck. Just gonna mix in some white with this. Shouldn't need too much to correct it. It's not too deep. It is matte though. And then you just lightly go around everything. And then over top to blend very lightly. See how it just kind of naturally blends everything in. Just pat it all together. Cause my nose looked pretty scary before. This is a beautiful foundation though. So this foundation is incredibly stunning. It does not work for the underpainting technique. <laughs> the nose and eyes worked. It's just, I could have went heavier for the contour bronze portion. That's my fault though, because I was testing out a new foundation and honestly didn't know. But if you want to see underpainting, go to my TikTok. It's a really good example. I use the Makeup by Mario foundation. I just, obviously in these trying new makeups, I wanna try new makeup. So I wanted to use this foundation and I'm in love with this foundation. I'm not even mad <laughs> that the underpainting thing didn't work for the bronzer because my skin looks incredible. This is a beautiful smoothing matte foundation, but not overly matte. Like I still feel like I have a natural finish, but it definitely leans natural matte, if that makes sense. It's not fully natural, it's not fully matte. Perfect little hybrid. 
I'm so obsessed with how the skin is looking. I'm going to need to rebronze though. I do have a new puff from Sephora. I purchased this and it's their Velour Makeup Face Puff. I thought this would be something fun to try. You guys know how much I love the Sephora collection. We're going to do blush and highlight over top of a set face. I've tried it before. The Makeup Forever works, so we should be good. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Powder in Fair to set underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to do a light set, fold the puff. Get right on in there. How gorgeous is that set? I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Can you tell I'm just in such a good mood? Everything's just working out for me. Then I'm going to be using this Sigma powder. I've never used it before and I've heard really good things. It's the Soft Focus Setting Powder and this is in the shade Vanilla Bean. I feel like this will kind of make the color a little bit more matching to my body. Slightly off still, but powder, we got this. I know we got this. I don't even think we need to really set the face. I'm gonna try on my cheeks lately. It's pretty too. That just made it more flawless if that's even possible because I was really, really liking how that foundation was looking prior to this step. But I feel like that color is really nice with that addition of the powder. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? I feel like this is just really flawless looking skin. Like this is giving bridal to me. Definitely glam, some special occasion. I do this for Valentine's though. Got a nice dinner to go to. I'm going to finish off the eyes right now. I have the Stila Stale Day Artistics Graphic Lighter in the shade Ballet. And this one I swatched on my hand is this beautiful pinky champagne. And it was super creamy. So I feel like this will be nice and pigmented. Just an added little sparkle for the waterline. It's really metallic. Can you see that? I feel with some bottom lashes, this should be well balanced. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, and then that should be good for the eyes. I do notice that the Stila eyeliner is grabbing in a couple spots in my waterline. Not sure why, I think I'll go over it later just to check out, see what's going on. See if it's cause certain spots are more watery than others. I'm not too sure. Then I am going to bronze a little bit just because that foundation was so full coverage. This is my L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer in Tan. I just love the undertone of this. Back to using it again. Not new, but just a tried and true. I'm just gonna go lightly because we do have that base. This eyebrow specifically is falling. So I don't like the wax because it does move around. I don't want my brows to move. Then for cheeks and highlight, using that same Makeup Forever palette. And I'm going to be using these shades in here, probably more so that one, just cause the other one looks a little light. Using the same brush I've been using. I hope they bring this palette to Sephora. I think you can only get it on the Makeup Forever website. This palette is perfect for bridal makeup. I have been loving it so, so much. This color is subtle, but gorgeous. I'm not even dipping into this one. I'm just using that one right now. And then just using my finger, I'm gonna use the highlight shade just to give a natural highlight to the skin. Again, so pretty. Moving on to lips to finish off this look, I thought it'd be really fun to show you a few different options you could do. And this portion of the video is sponsored by City Beauty. So thank you so much to City Beauty for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of their different lip formulas. They have gloss and matte lips, which are so stunning. This is a slept on brand and I cannot stress this enough until you see <laughs> these colors. I initially found out about City Beauty from Babs beauty she was wearing this one color on her lips and i needed it it was the city lips plumping lip gloss in the shade watermelon i cannot tell you how perfect these cream glosses are they have ones with some shimmer too which you guys know i love a lightly pigmented gloss with some shimmer but they also do the cream ones really nicely because they are super super pigmented city beauty also has the city lips matte which are a comfortable liquid lipstick, which is really hard to find, truly a slept on brand. I'm going to show you three of my favorites in this video, and then I'm gonna be swatching all the ones that I have over on my Instagram. So if you want a full lip swatch video, please go check out my Instagram to see all the colors over there. However, these three right here are my top three that I highly, highly recommend. We have the opaques, which are the creams I was referencing, and then we have the shimmers. We also have a clear one if you're just into a clear plumping gloss and the mattes, as I said, I'll be swatching one matte, 
one shimmer and one opaque for you just because those happen to be my top three. They also gave me an amazing discount code. It's 35% which is incredible. You use the code Makeup by Cheryl at checkout. I'll also have it linked below, so be sure to shop the link so it'll take you right there, easy access, and use Makeup by Cheryl at checkout to save some money, which is so awesome. So thank you, City Beauty, for that incredibly generous coupon code for my subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. And you guys are gonna fall in love with the formula. They're cruelty-free, clean research-based ingredients. City Lips visibly plumps fine lines and wrinkles for an immediate and long-term solution for your lips. It's great for those with thin, dry, or wrinkled lips, which you guys know I always complain about mine. So it's perfect for someone like me. It works safely, painlessly, and without irritation or numbness, unlike some other plumping glosses on the market. And if you've used those, you know what I'm talking about. This one is really gentle and gives you the plumper looking lips, which I know I'm looking for. Also smoothing and hydrating. Key ingredients are hyaluronic acid fears for hydration. We have some peptides to enhance lip volume and soothing moisturizers like jojoba oil. These key ingredients are both in the glosses and the mattes. So you're gonna get benefits from using both formulas, which is absolutely amazing. So let me know which one was your favorite. My top three picks were the City Lips Matte Blush Rose, City Lips Nude York, and City Lips Watermelon. All the shades are so stunning though, which I will swatch on my Instagram, so go check that out too if you're curious of more lip swatches, but I had to show you my top three. So comfortable, they give you that plumping sensation, which isn't burning or hurting or anything like that. It's a very gentle plumping, nice and hydrating, smoothing, nourishing. It just feels good on and your lips look better having used them. So I'm so happy with the formula. As I said earlier, a truly slept on brand, their lip products are absolutely incredible. Swatches speak for themselves. My lips look amazing and I cannot get enough of these formulas. So definitely go check them out. Use the code to your advantage. 35% off is very generous from any brand that I've worked with. So I really appreciate that from City Beauty. Now I'm just going to spray my face with a little bit setting spray. Go off camera, get dressed, do my hair, come back, and we're gonna talk more about all the products. I'm back, here is the completed look. What do you guys think? I'm still curious to know what your favorite of the three lip products were. I'm going to go over all the products that I used in today's video, starting with the Laura Lee Los Angeles brushes. I didn't get a chance to use the face brushes. I forgot I was doing full face of creams pretty much, and I don't typically use this style of brush for cream product. I like my BK Beauty. They're synthetic brushes for creams. They just work for me. This I'm mostly gonna use for powders, so I'm gonna have to set this aside and use it again in a trying new makeup. I did use the eye brushes, and they were all really good. Super soft, blended beautifully. So I do love the eye brushes. I'm just gonna have to use the face brushes a little bit more. The Whimsical Nudes palette. If you're a fan of Manny's eyeshadow formula, I feel like this is really similar. It has the same sort of creaminess and the metallic quality is so stunning in these shades. Apart from Manny's, there's nothing like these shimmers out there. It is so creamy and metallic, easy to work with. The mattes are great too, but I want more. <laughs> of this formula. It is so, so good. I hope she continues to do this formula in future palettes because it's really, really stunning. A great product if you're a working makeup artist or makeup lover like me is this Makeup Forever palette. I use it for a multitude of things. You can underpaint with this. Check out my TikTok for a better tutorial for that. The formulation of this is what I wanted it to be. I used to use these Makeup Forever cream palettes that they discontinued and this reminds me of that formula. So if you remember those, you will love this. I love the play I can get with this, mixing and matching. All the formulas are good. Concealer, contour, even though orange, it works for underpainting. The blush highlight, all of it. I like it all, I think it's worth it. So definitely check it out. The packaging is super cute too. I love this thing, it's actually really heavy. <laughs> Got a lot of product in that. These two powders I used, one, I've used the formula for years and years, but I got a new shade in Fair. I wish I got Fair a long time ago because this gives me the perfect amount of brightness underneath my eyes. I think it's super flattering and I've always loved this formula as an under eye set. I just feel like medium could be too dark sometimes and you know, Fair's perfect. This first time using it for me though. This Sigma powder, I've slept on this. I've heard really good things and I can see 
why so many people like this. I felt like this made my skin even smoother than it was prior to going in with powder. It did everything I want a powder to do. Smoothed out my skin, set it really nicely. So I'm very happy with this. Gonna continue to use it more, but so far so good there. This Kelly Ray primer is no joke. <laughs> this smooths out my skin so nicely. This does have more oil control, I feel, than the Huda Beauty one. The Huda Beauty one, for me, what sets it apart for someone with dry textured skin, because it's more hydrating, I still wanna compare them side by side. This is a front runner though. Could it take the place? I'm not sure. <laughs> I wanna do a side by side, so let me know if you're interested in that. I could do just a quick Instagram reel or story even, if you wanna see those side by side. This Sephora Puff, Velour Puff, great for setting my whole face. It is around $7, I think, on Sephora, so it's affordable in terms of Velour Puffs. However, I still would buy my Amazon Puffs over this. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. If you're eyeing it, pick it up, but I would just sooner get my ones from Amazon. A couple products from Velour. Have a new eyelash curler, finally. This one doesn't touch, so it's really good at getting in there, curling the lashes. I needed that, that was a need. <laughs> then these effortless velour lashes are so wispy and pretty and soft. They added just enough drama. It was exactly what I wanted to finish the eyes for this look. They do have more styles, go check them out. All of them look really pretty. This one was typically not one that I would gravitate to right away because it was more wispy, but I feel like that's what really set these lashes apart for me was how wispy they were. I was shocked by this foundation, the Guerlain foundation. It says it's new. Did they reformulate? I'm not sure because I remember seeing this a while ago. This reminds me of my Too Faced matte foundation, just with a little bit more hydration to the skin is the best way I can describe it because I love that foundation. Sometimes it can be a little too matte. This I feel like is well balanced. It's not overly matte. Though I need to check out the price of this because it's called gold skin and I don't know if I can afford that. <laughs> Let me know if you've tried it before. I'd love to know your thoughts, but so far if this wears, might be a new go-to matte foundation for me because I think it looks really pretty. Then some drugstore products from L'Oreal, the telescopic lift. I love this mascara. I know some people are saying it's not as good, it's clumpy. I really, really like it. I have a full video of it on my channel if you wanna go see a review, but it is a love from me. And then I also picked this up from L'Oreal. It's a pen liner in brown. This is a true chocolatey brown shade. It looks brown, it doesn't look black, and I know it's hard to find a nice brown eyeliner. This is it, it wears really nicely too. Highly recommend that, I've been using it every day when I do liner. <laughs> Something that was a little bit disappointing, but I'm gonna keep playing around with it, and there's more colors for me to test out, is from Stila, it's their Stay All Day Liner in Ballet. It's just gathering slightly on my lash line. I'm not sure what's going on. It could just be places that are more watery than others. The formula when I put it on my hand or if I were to use this on my skin is perfect. I think it just might be my waterline, but the formula, if you're using it for other things, I think it would be really good. I just need to work it again on my waterline to see if it's just the color or if it's just the day. I just don't have enough information yet to let you know if that's a hit or a miss. And then of course, I love the City Beauty City Lips. These are so nice if you're looking for something that's plumping yet comfortable, hydrating and smoothing. Look no further than these. They gave me a very generous coupon code, which I don't often get from companies, so I'm so thankful. Thank you so much, City Beauty, for the generous coupon code, which is just Makeup by Cheryl to save 35%, and for sponsoring a portion of this video. I really appreciate it and that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this everything will be linked down below so be sure to check it all out thank you guys so so much for clicking on this video for spending some time with me today if you have not already i would absolutely love for you to join the family here by hitting the red subscribe button the bell to be notified of all my future videos and i will see you guys in my next one